Hello, and welcome to Helping You Pay for College, a program by the College Foundation of North Carolina. I'm Kathy Mueller, Executive Director of Mapping Your Future, a program sponsored by CFNC. I'm here today with Mary Otto, the Director of Financial Aid at Campbell University. And Mary's going to talk to us today about filing the FAFSA and what happens when you file the FAFSA. Mary? Thank you, Kathy, and good morning. Yes, uh, we're going to talk about what happens after you file your FAFSA. When you complete the FAFSA online, it's submitted to the United States Department of Education. At that point in time, you will get a submission confirmation, but please don't stop there. What will happen next is you'll receive a student aid report. And what the student aid report is, it's all of the information that you entered on your FAFSA. This is your chance to read and review carefully to ensure that the information you put on is correct. It is then sent to the state agency for grant determination. Next, you can put up to 10 colleges on your FAFSA. Any colleges listed will be sent this FAFSA data electronically. At that point, the FAFSA data will then be sent to the Finish the FAFSA database if your high school is a participant. It will then go through a process where it tries to resolve any errors on the FAFSA. That could include a problem with your social security number, a name that doesn't match. There are many errors it could, but this is when that process takes place. Next, there is a possibility that the Department of Ed will choose your record for verification. This is a random process that Department of Ed applies to students' FAFSA data. The schools on the FAFSA will send you the request for information to complete that process. Once that process is completed and you are verified, the record is then sent to the Finish the FAFSA database and the high school counselors will know that your FAFSA has been completed. And last but definitely not least, the school, once all of this process is completed, will send you what's called an award letter or an offer letter, which shows you all of the federal, state, and institutional funds that you're eligible for. Thank you. Thanks, Mary. So do students only need to file the FAFSA one time? Good question, Kathy. No, it must be completed every year. You will do what's called a renewal FAFSA next year, which you do not have to enter any of the personal data. It would only be any changes in income. Thanks, Mary. I'd like to thank Mary for presenting with us today. She is a director of financial aid at Campbell University. Her email is cozen at campbell.edu. That's K-O-S-I-N at campbell.edu. Her phone number is 910-893-1310. Again, thank you for participating in today's presentation and join us for other presentations on the CFNC website. Have a great day.